During the launch of the Namibia 2014-2015 Health Account Report, the acting U.S. aid country representative Robert Rhodes stated that sexual partnerships with older men are correlated with new infections amongst adolescent girls and young women. These young women move on to have relationships with men their own age, infecting younger men who in time, when older, infect younger women. Recent reports have claimed that more Namibian women are on antiretroviral treatment than men. Statistics presented by the Ministry of Health and Social Services Permanent Secretary Dr. Andreas Mumba shows that 8,084 females in the age group of 15 to 24 years are on ARV treatment compared to 3,530 males in the same age group. Ministry of Health and Social Services Deputy Permanent Secretary Berta Kachivena said in order to break this vicious cycle, adolescent boys, young and elderly men must get tested for HIV. Minister of Health and Social Services is advocating for the testing of not only the adolescent girl and the young lady, but also adolescent boys and young men. Because if we want to curb the transmission of HIV and AIDS infections, the root causes most of the times are the boys. So we should also advocate for the boys to go get tested know their status and take already precautionary measures either to prevent and if they are already infected to be treated and try to prevent the further transmissions to those that they are in harmony with, with so that the, the transmission below, remains below the, uh, the further spread, if I can put it that way. Program Director of the Namibia Planned Parenthood Association, NAPA, John Bosco Kachiua said the issue of blessers and blessies is one of the factors that contribute to the spread of HIV AIDS. In the concept of blesser, blessies, younger and older, very young girls and women and older males is also contributing to the spread of HIV. Because often in the concept of blesser and blessies, in, in other words, where Someone, the older male, being the provider of whatever goodies and incentives for the young girls, the young girls do not have a lot of power in terms of negotiating the use of condoms. So they may not exert sufficient power to force the older male to use condoms. And unfortunately, in such a relationship, usually also the younger, male, the younger girl may not also force the old, elder male to go for an HIV test or to prove their sexual, their, their HIV negativity or the HIV status. And therefore, uh, these young girls are put uh, at risk. Tachiyua, however, noted that NAPA is trying to encourage the youth who are in risky sexual relationships to take pre-exposure prophylaxis, also known as PrEP.